our leaders are getting old. Studies show that leadership positions are now more predominantly held by older people than at any point in history. And yet, half of the world's population is aged under 30. Humanity is younger than ever and has new perspectives on what leadership should be. How can we preserve knowledge from previous generations while allowing Gen Z to develop its own leadership strategies? Should investors fund training of future leaders? Who among up-and-coming Gen Z leaders are those to watch? Uh, I'm more open to new ideas. The old generation, they're not as much. So I think there's a bit of a clash there. We are more traveling. Each generation has a different point of view, but everyone knows the world is changing. Well, I do think we grow up with very, very different values and sometimes maybe we struggle to emphasize with each other. So I do think there's just conflicts of missing understandings. It's a lot uh, more technology with uh, phones and, uh, and that kind of stuff. Empathy. One that's willing to learn from the people. Um, I think qualities of like understanding, acceptance. When you listen to uh, other people, what, uh, what they want, not only what you, uh, what you, uh, you want for yourself. Uh, maybe some discipline, maybe some structure. I think definitely, you know, being open to listening and taking your time with, before, I guess, coming to conclusions. Ability to speak, because I saw that all Generation Z, they're always on the phone and they just text messages and they can speak. Patience and managing finances are key values that we all need to learn from previous generations. I think younger people might be more willing to give up easier um, when times get hard, so just being able to push through the hard times. Maybe mentoring by investing in our education system now. More education. By investing in uh, ongoing training uh, programs and educational opportunities. I can't really think of anything that they need to invest. I think they're doing a good job thus far.